I'm Rebecca. I'm a senior artist from London. And today I'm going to be doing makeup that makes you look glowing, gleaming, and vibrant. I'm going to start by drowning you in some Prep and Prime Fix Plus. Dry skin is the enemy of foundations. Then I'm going to get you looking gleaming and plumped and gorgeous. And I'm going to use some strobe cream. It's a bit of a MAC icon product. It's useful for getting really gorgeous looking skin. This one has got gold infused through it. So I'm going to be using the Studio Water Weight Foundation, a serum based foundation. So you're getting all these really beautiful skincare benefits to it. And then we're going to use this brush in a half buffing, half stippling motion. Just find the bits where you feel like you need more coverage. You have a little bit more redness in the cheeks, perhaps, or maybe it's got a touch more around your nose. Concealer and foundation are a partnership. This is Pro Longwear Concealer. I'm using NW25. This is a warm undertone concealer, and it helps to cancel out the greeny undertones that you often get with an olive skin. I'm kind of in love with the Prep and Prime highlighter pens. I'm going to look for all the areas on your face where when you're looking down, it's casting a little bit of a shadow. So in the well of your eye, just here, the sides, down your nose, up your cheeks, and buff and blend those in. Essentially, we're faking about 10 hours sleep. So whenever you've thought about highlighting, have you ever wondered, where do I put it? Where does it go? <laughs> You want to feel where's the hardest part of my cheekbone. That's where Ooh. all your highlight is going to go. So the product I'm going to use is Pearl Cream Color Base. Pressing and patting along your cheekbones. I think highlighting on the nose really helps to bring out the higher points of your face. In the corners of your eyes, on the tear ducts, makes you look really wide awake. Let me take just a little dot here on your chin and on your brow bone. So the next step to really making this glow look great and make it look authentic is to make sure we've got some areas of matte as well. This one is the Pro Longwear Press Powder. So we're being selective about where we powder, right in the middle of the forehead. The nose can look shiny and that can look really beautiful, but the nostrils should never be shiny. <laughs> Underneath around your eye as well, and then the sides of the jaw. Now, you've naturally got a little bit of rosiness in your cheeks, which I really like, and I don't want to cancel it out and take it out entirely. So I'm going to put some of that back in with a powder blusher. This one's a colour called Dame. Quite a pretty rosy pink with a slightly lavender undertone to it. So I'm applying this on the apples of your cheeks. If you put your blusher too close to your nose, it can look a little bit like you're a bit too flushed. So I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to work the blusher straight down from the pupil of your eye and then work it backwards towards your ear. This is the uh, 137 brush, making you look flushed and glowing, but in all the right places. So now you've got really gorgeous looking skin, but maybe we want to just kind of amp it up a little bit. The 24 hour extend eye base is an eye primer. This helps to stop that really irritating creasing that goes on. So the makeup one more. So the makeup doesn't move. Step two of that, is to then put powder on top of it. I'm going to just polish this all over your eyelids. I'm using Quarry and I'm using Poppy Seed. I'm going to start with this one, Poppy Seed. So this colour is going to go from your lash line up to the crease of your eye. It's quite subtle, but it really does help to lift up a green eye colour. This one's a colour called Quarry, and I'm going to pull it and press it. It's got a bit more three dimension, a bit more interest on your eye. I'm going to add in a little mix of Quarry and this colour, Star Violet, together. And push that into your lash line. So we've got something that feels a bit richer. So underneath your eye, I'm going to use Star Violet and Embark um, and a smaller brush. Just place it close to your lashes on the outside edge here, right into the roots of your eyelashes. This is instead of using something like a pencil eyeliner, which sometimes can look really hard. I want to keep all the softness in this makeup. So once you've got eye makeup on, you have to have mascara. What I want to do is to make sure my mascara choice matches your lashes. I'm going to use Upward Lash. I want to get most of the product into the roots of your lashes rather than on the ends of them. I'm going to flip it around. I'm going to use it vertically. And this way, we can grab little individual bundles of lashes. Wow, look at those bad boys. So bottom eyelashes, pick up some product on your brush, touch your bottom lashes from the root, and you paint them downwards. So I'm just going to finish off your lips. I'm using a colour called Whirl Lip Pencil. Sketch your way upwards towards the cupid's bow. Nice colour. 
It's a great color. Yeah, I'm pretty much just gonna color your whole lip in with this color. And just one quick coat of the lip gloss. It's just the most amazing lip gloss texture I've ever used. It just makes those lips look plump and soft and finished. Skin is mostly done. I want to go back in and I just want to plump up those strobed highlights. I'm going to use our original strobe cream. This has a lavender pearl running through it. Gently tap it over the top of those areas of highlights that we've already done. It's just that magic finishing touch. So rather than using a powder to add extra highlight, which can sometimes look a bit grainy or maybe can look a bit powdery, putting creams back on top just gives you this really gleaming looking skin. Feels good. It's a beautiful strobed skin.